I need a little background music to start this off. How about... Oh, 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 oh. Last time he was here, he shook the place up. And he's here back again tonight to do They Put Me in the Mix from his album. Let's get it started. Ladies and gentlemen, Oak Town's own MC Hammer and his posse. with a hammer. Can you pump it? You got to pump it for the hammer. Yes, for you. <laughs> go hammer, go hammer, go hammer. <laughs> How you feeling? Oh, I feel real good. Um, after we do that, the heart beating fast, I'm feeling good. Yes, indeed, man. The rap world has really exploded. Uh, recently, you started not opening for, but closing for big time R&B stars because what you're doing and what the young guys out there like you are doing is so strong. Talk about the rap world for me. 
um, the evolution of rap world has changed. You know, the things have changed uh, from what they used to be. Um, no longer is rap just walk back and forth. We have to get out there and give the crowd as much as an R&B group would give them or more. And now we're able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, I heard the rumor. It's a very competitive business, man. Very competitive. You had an incident. Now, don't mention no names. No names. Don't mention no, no names. names. But you had an incident recently that, that amazed me when they told me about it. And I asked you earlier, and you said it was true. Uh, yeah. Uh, we were on tour. We're on tour right now with uh, some of the hottest groups in the country, um, the Superfest. And um, one of the groups, uh, they didn't want to accept what was happening on the stage. They wouldn't pull the <laughs> plug on us while we were performing. The, the actual plug of, of the sound or the lights or what? The sound. First, they pulled the sound. Uh -huh. So I was performing in the dark. We kept going. And then later in the show, um, they cut the sound and lights both. But we kept going, and the crowd supported us, and it came out. We were, you know, we... That's right. That's right. But the thing about it, the thing about it that kind of um, shocked me was that I expected somebody on that level, at, you know, at that point in their career to say, you know, if we're having a good show, they should have a good show and we just all give our all, but it didn't work like that. And I didn't know it was that competitive. Yeah. Wow. I almost want to tell who it was. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we won't, yeah, we won't do that. He asked me not to get into that. And out of respect to Oaktown Zone, I won't do that. Um, I read in the USA Today, today, <laughs> that um, they're starting in some city in the south, I think Texas, if I'm not mistaken, to put labels on the albums because the uh, lyrics of some artists are becoming uh, crazy. Well... Um, I'm sure uh, there's a lot of people familiar with the product that has the profanity in it and everything. And of course, we're not advocates of that type of product. That's why we stick with what we do and try to project a, you know, a positive image to the kids. Mm -hmm. So we stick with that particular avenue. And for us, you won't see any of those stickers on our albums because we don't do that type of material. Uh -huh. That's good. That's good. I'm glad you came back. Okay. Every time you hear you start a fire. <laughs> Chunky A says hello. Oh, tell him we got something to do. <laughs> yeah, we, we got, got some, some business to take care of. I think the best way to go to commercial is go hammer, go hammer, go hammer. We'll be back.